Hey guys, welcome to another segment of Top Apps. My name is Zach, and today I've got a very useful app called Evernote. Now, it's got a one workspace concept, which means you're supposed to be able to do everything that you need to remind yourself and to note stuff and all that stuff into one application, and it's called Evernote. Now, what's really cool is that it syncs across multiple devices, so it's working for Android, Blackberry, iOS, even Windows Phone, and your computer at home. So uh, it's free, and it's got a premium subscription base, but let's look at the free version first. So what's the app really like? Well, it's got some really cool features and basically it's all about having notebooks in there. And in the notebooks, you have different kinds of notes. So there's the standard text notes where you can write basic text features into there, but you can also do to-do lists, which are very, very handy. So for you, you can see what I'm trying to do there. And uh, you can even take snapshots. It links straight to your camera app from in this app. So you can take a snapshot, add a note to it, and save it into here. And the to-do list, you can have reminders and alarms set and all sorts of stuff like that. So it really is something where you're using your, your daily app, you're using your daily device, and you're going through your usual business, and you need to take a note. And I know this can be quite important for some phones and not so important for others, but some phones, there's just no note-taking app. So the fact that it works for all those different platforms means that it is something that works very, very well and that it syncs to all your different devices, which means you can take some notes down on your mobile device, go back onto your PC, and then it just syncs all up there. So generally, it's very good. The premium version, of course, does have more, but it's a subscription-based system, which means you don't just pay once, but it has offline modes. It's got um, bigger saving features and all, all kinds of stuff like that. And it's just very, very good. And one cool feature that they do boast is that you're able to search for text in images. So let's say you take a picture of a page, you can search for words that it detects on that page. Now, uh, it, it seems to work for most of the time, but I haven't tested it for hundreds of times, so I'm not sure about the reliability, but it is a cool feature nonetheless. And overall, the one workspace concept does seem to be working quite well in this app. The Animax International Festival and Animation and Computer Games takes place every year in the northeast of England. This is the first time in 15 years that Animax International Festival was held outside of the United Kingdom, specifically in Malaysia. In England, it was five days of masterclasses, talks, working with schools, and it's just been an amazing success in England. And what we've done is we've brought it to KDU to do a smaller version to start off with of um, two days with masterclasses and two days of talks from the best in the industry from animation and games. The South East Asian chapter is joined organized by Teesside University and KDU University College together with My Game Dev and Entry Point Project under the National Key Economic Area and KEA Education. Because it's been so successful in the UK and because we always have international speakers coming in and what we thought is we'd like to take it global to spread the word of Animex but also it's also really important for our partnerships with other countries um, and the very first one we chose, um, we thought Malaysia was particularly well suited to that and we chose KDU University because we, also, we already have a relationship with KDU and some of our students have come from KDU University over to Teesside and we've had some uh, staff who teach here at, at KDU who actually came and studied at Teesside so we've got a really strong relationship with Malaysia and in particular with KDU University. So each year we have the Animex in February in the UK, um, but then each September our speakers will come with some local speakers and we will all get together and create this much bigger event at, um, at KDU. By hosting the Animex International at KDU University College, students would be well exposed as to what is happening in the global game development industry and market workshops and talks by professional developers from overseas will help improve and increase the knowledge of students. I'm actually a graduate from Teesside University, so I attended the Animax in 2004. And during that time, I said, no, it would be extremely wonderful if we could just bring all these world-class speakers to Malaysia. And the primary purpose is twofold. Number one, we want Malaysians to actually hear from the, the best. But we also want 
these international speakers to come down to Malaysia and realise that, hey, even in Malaysia, there are talents in games development. And the thing is, Malaysia has been involved in games for a very long time. We got into it in the early 90s. But the problem is, we didn't grow. And the reason why we didn't grow is because there was a lot of mindset. Uh, when you think of games, it's negative. You think of cyber cafe, you think of gaming as in gambling. So not many Malaysians know that there is a viability in career options in Malaysia. Not many Malaysians know that games is actually one of the largest industries, entertainment industries out there. Take for example, there is this game that came out in 2013 called Grand Theft Auto V. Now Grand Theft Auto in three days made US 1 billion. We're all professionals, we all know the score. This is legit business. 401ks, tax returns and all. We're gonna move quick and we're gonna keep cool. Suppose the group hugs out of the question. <laughs> the entire music industry worldwide made 1.4 billion in one month. So the whole purpose of working together with uh, Teesside University to bring Animax down is for us to create the awareness. Awareness to the parents, awareness for the nation, and we also want these companies to come down here and say, hey, look, there is an industry here. Why don't we come down and set up in Malaysia? I mean, cost-effective wise, if I'm going to pay £3,000 for an artist in the UK, you convert that to Malaysian ringgit, it's 15,000 ringgit. I can hire five artists here. Nothing in this life. We hope that it will be a, definitely an annual event. Yeah, uh, I think to bring all the Malaysian school students, uh, tertiary and secondary, to a place where they can actually listen and get inspiration. And it's also, like I said, it's, it's for the local community here to network with one another. That's why we actually have all these games companies around. The whole purpose is for students to meet their potential employees and say, hey, this is what you need? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I need to study for SPM. I know I must get 8 A's, but the whole purpose of getting 8 A's is to so that I get a scholarship, I get to go into a good university. And so that's the whole purpose, is to build up capabilities at the end of the day.